It's official, guys. Anton Rodin is not going to be a Canuck. It's just been under 24 hours, and the statement is that Anton Rodin has been basically done. He's decided that he doesn't want to play in the NHL anymore, so the Canucks placed him on waivers with the intent to release him from his NHL contract. And, as a result of this, Anton Rodin will sign with the HC Davos of the Swiss League, and he will continue to play professionally over there. This is a good move for Rodin. Personally, I believe that his talent was wasted here, and he did have talent. His last season playing in the Swedish Hockey League, he had 37 points in 33 games. He was the MVP. He was the captain of the Brennus IF. He had a really good run over there in the Swedish Hockey League. And he was on pace, I believe, for breaking the Swedish Hockey League scoring record. It's just that he didn't break it because, well, he got injured. And then he came over to Vancouver again because everyone was hyped because he was a good player. He was the SHL MVP, and he came back to Vancouver because we still had his rights. And he was injured again. And then the next season rolled around, and, well, he was injured. In total, in the 2016-17 NHL-AHL season, he played six games. Three Canucks games, three Comets games. This season, in the 17-18 Comets season, he's played seven games. And he's had two points in those seven games for the Comets. Anton Rodin was never a player who was bad. He was just placed in a matter of unfortunate circumstances. And it never got better for him from there. Now Rodin, he will be signing with the HC Davos of the Swiss League. And the intent is for him to play there. It's a good move for him, and it's a good move for the Canucks, because realistically, we didn't have anywhere to slot Rodin in. We had guys like Alex Burmistrov making the Canucks over Rodin. We didn't give Rodin a chance. We didn't give him the chance that he deserved. We didn't capitalize on the talent we had on this Swedish Hockey League superstar. And that's what he was. He was a superstar. He got the Golden Helmet Award. He got the MVP of the league in his year. And he only played 33 games. He was on pace for breaking the Swedish Hockey League record that year. And in terms of point per game, he was first in that category by a long shot. He had 1.12 points per game, 37 in 33 games, and he won the SHL MVP award that year. So, if a guy who plays not even 40 games, the whole season was 50 games, he played 33, and he got the MVP in that year, he was supposed to be a big deal. And he was a big deal when he came over here. But it wasn't the story you got when... You watched his numbers for the Canucks because, well, he only played 11 games ever since coming over from the Swedish Hockey League. And you could say it's all due to surgeries and it's all due to injuries. And part of that is true as well. But the fact remains that we still did not capitalize on Anton Rodin as much as we could have because he wasn't injured the entire time. He was injured for a long span of time, but not the entire time. In the times that he wasn't injured, he still did not capitalize on that. We didn't play him, he was scratched, he's only had such little points in the American leagues compared to his success in the SHL recently, and it's unfortunate. And this move for him going back to Europe, it makes sense. Because Anton Rodin legitimately has talent to play hockey. He's a 27-year-old, which means that he's supposed to be in his prime years now. And this is the moment in time where he's going to start making money. Because he's got talent, and he's going to be playing over there in Europe. And the European teams, just because you don't succeed at the American-style game does not mean that you're not capable of succeeding in Europe. And Anton Rodin is an example of that because he has succeeded in Europe. And it's a good move for him because when he plays over there, he's going to get a lot more money. He's going to get a lot less taxes. 
And he's going to be making more money there than he ever would have if he stayed here in the American Leagues, where, arguably, he would never have been given a chance to be making the money that he'd be making in Europe. So, it's a good career for Rodin if he stays over there. He stays in the Swiss League, goes back to the SHL, maybe tries the KHL, because he's got talent, and we know that he's got talent. This guy is capable of winning the SHL MVP without playing not even 40 games. And it's unfortunate. His contract is getting terminated with the intent for him to go back to Europe. And Anton Rodin, it's not going to be a success story here. It's going to be a success story for Anton Rodin personally, because it's going to be a story about this guy having success in Europe, coming over to play the North American game, not being given an opportunity, having guys like Burmistrov make the team over him, and fighting his way to go back to Europe, where he can truly play the best hockey that he is capable of. And who knows, he might win a few more... MVP League awards, but it's certainly not going to be in the NHL, because if Anton Rodin ever plays in the NHL, it won't be for the Canucks. It'll probably be a few years down the line where he's more of an established player, and I believe the chances of that are fairly low. But as for now, the Vancouver Canucks and Anton Rodin have cut ties, and Anton Rodin is going back to Europe to dominate in the leagues that... Well, he was comfortable with. This is a good move for him, and I wish him the best. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Possibly not a short, like an Oscar Line Gaming, and bye. <laughs>